What is going on everybody, it's Milbro here, and providing you with all the update uh, info uh, that we have for the new console version coming uh, later this year in 7 days to uh, uh, die uh, for PS5, uh, Xbox Series S, and X. Just so you know, if you did not, if you skipped past the first 5 seconds of the video, the first half of this video is going to be containing info from Spartan 85's PAX East video. He is uh, giving me permission to use the info for this video. I asked him on Discord personally, so... And uh, while I may not be using footage of the booths, I want to make sure I ask him for permission first, because it is, it is his permission, his info. So... And I will not be discussing Blood Moons, so you need... So, if you're looking for any of that, I'm not covering it in this video, so... And uh, so for the first half of this video, it will be containing info from Spartan85. And if you if you want to go see his video, then go check it in the link description. I will link his channel and the video. And uh, so, and then if you want to see the second half of the video where it contains some uh, pictures and everything, I will put a timestamp for right around here for you guys. Uh, so you can uh, skip to that if you like. But let's get into it. So, according to Spartan85 uh, in his video, he said that uh, people were, uh, people's the biggest question is, when is this going to release? And according to him, it is uh, releasing, uh, the Fun Pimps intend to release this on the summer of this year, 2024. And uh, so, we don't know when in the summer, and he said he did have some info that he couldn't say at the moment, and so it's not so I'm not gonna press him for that. But just do know it might be it could be as late as September this year, but it is supposed to come in this year. And second up, I have called the new version Apocalypse Edition before. I was just going off of info info at the time and. According to the Fun Pimps at PAX East, and you know what Spartan85 said, uh, he said that it will be called console, the Seven Days to Die console version, not Apocalypse Edition. That the Apocalypse Edition name was a, a placeholder, so that's good to know. And and then he asked the he asked the devs uh, there like, what will possibly be the price point? And at first he asked. You know, if it would be sixty bucks, uh, which they they were they got scared of that price. They were like uh, they were like heavens no. So they said it will be much lower than that. So that's a good thing. It'll be at about and he asked if it would be about like thirty dollars, and they had a better idea of that. That they liked that a bit more. So I'm going uh, and Spartan said that uh, it'd probably be about twenty to thirty dollars, which I definitely agree it would. Definitely be a good one. A good price. Uh, which, I know it sucks that if we have to pay for this, uh, but it, but I'm not too bothered by the price. And then, uh, the Fun Pimps have said that they still want to do a voucher for for seven, uh, for the new console version of Seven Days. It's like a for those who own, own the old version, whether it be a physical or digital copy. And so, but he was saying that apparently, according to the devs, uh, it's, still up, it's still up in the air with Sony. Sony is very stubborn about that stuff. Uh, they don't like it, but said that Microsoft uh, uh, wanted to do it. It's like, if we can get Sony to uh, do it, that would be awesome. Because crossplay would really help this game out. In, in the long haul. And so, another question people might be curious as is what, what version is the game releasing on? It will be released as Alpha 22, the latest update for PC. And so, but he was saying, but Spartan was saying that the devs hinted that uh, it might need to be stable first before it releases, so, which is a little bit which is understandable. I would rather have a stable update and not have a crash and everything, which is great. Next up is like, uh, it's like I already covered, uh, 
crossplay on all that. It's like, uh, but hammer the point home. It's like Sony is being stubborn about that, and uh, so it might be uh, we might get it, we might not. It it's, it seems like it's Sony's decision at this point. And uh, people are wondering if uh, the game will get updates uh, or if it will be dead on launch. Uh, the thing is uh, that it'll get updates. Uh, it will still get stable updates. It'll probably be uh, it probably won't be unstable. It'll be get like we'll be getting like the stable version and everything like that. So and it, it, it should not be a ban at launch. They don't plan on do that. I think they kind of realize how badly they screwed up uh, with uh, with the old console version, and they so and uh, you know people. I know people really kind of on this next point. Like people give the game a lot of crap uh, for you know saying like seven years uh, to alpha uh, or seven years till gold, and like because this game's been alpha for over a well, well over a decade. Which I get it, but uh, Spartan asks, like, you know, why is the game still an alpha to the devs? And he said, and the devs have said that the reason why on PC the game is still an alpha version is they can, if they keep it in alpha, they can provide free updates. PC version has been updated for how many years with free updates? You know, they have not charged, and they, and you know, they're very generous with that, and they said. And they don't want to update uh, out of alpha <laughs> because then Steam would have to charge them. It's because of Steam, so it's like that's a good. So happy to hear you. Know, like they they're thinking about you know they don't want to charge us for updates, and you know they are a small dev team. And then uh, so this is a really big. This is a really big. Um, killer for me, and it's like, I'm sure a lot of people might be a little upset by this, but um, Spartan confirmed like from the devs that they don't have any plan on doing mod support for the, for the console version. So that really sucks with it, and so it's like, I was really hoping they'd have mods, it's like, uh, but it's one of those, it, it would really keep the gameplay longevity of it going in the long haul, but that's unfortunate. But good news is uh, Alpha 22 and POIs will all be on console. He asked about that, and so it's and so it's like we're going to be again all the console, all the POIs, which is good for you know, me to hear and a lot of probably a lot of you to hear because it's really awesome. I was wondering about limitations on it. There will be no <laughs> the. For those of you who like to play split screen, this is unfortunate, and it's like, but uh, it cannot be. It will not get split screen support at all. And uh, Spartan explained in his video that uh, it is because of limitations on the Xbox Series S, not the X, the S. So it's like the Xbox Series S is limited on it. And another thing with the Series S is uh, it will be able to run. 6K maps, which is the size of the uh, the world that you can play in, so which is unfortunate. It's so it's like a Series S is kind of bogging down stuff, and and another thing with it is uh, because of because they're supporting Xbox Series S with this, there will be no dev tools or debug menu due to Series S's limitations, uh, which means like dev tools are like if you can spawn in zombies or take out a whole bunch of zombies or you know change the uh, weather and all that really quickly uh take out a whole bunch of blocks or uh, getting you know giving yourself invulnerability for testing purposes or all this unfortunately it's not really that's a little bit unfortunate because the series s and uh if you want to see the footage of uh, this new feature which is a pc only feature it's drone camera Go to Spartan 85's video to watch that. It's a very big, uh, it's really cool for content creators. Unfortunately, I will not be able to access it as I'm on PlayStation 5, but it's it's okay. I'm not really, it's like, uh, be nice, but I get limitations. 
And uh, Spartan asked if uh, if the game will release on Game Pass uh, for Xbox owners, which is and the devs said that it should really help you out with. But it should be releasing on Game Pass, so that's pretty good for you, Game Pass people. And then uh, he asked, uh, and devs conf- said like that you should be able to stream uh, on cloud gaming on the Xbox Series S and the Xbox One. So that's a cool thing. I've never really done that before, but that's good to hear for you Xbox folks, especially if you have like the old Xbox One. Which uh, so, and then uh, people. Are curious, uh, are a little bit curious if the console version will have access to previous alphas. Uh, and Spartan 85 said, "No, it will not have the previous alphas access." And uh, which is a little bit fortunate. But then again, we kind of have that, but not really with the uh, with the old console version. Which, if you're watching this far into this video, uh, you'll see like this is all the old console version. So it's like that's like a little time capsule, which is excellent. So, and then uh, there will be an offline single player mode, which is excellent to hear. That is really awesome to hear. And so, um, but a little bit uh, unfortunate news is uh, that what Spartan said is uh, it will be a digital game only, no discs, which is a little bit unfortunate because I like to have discs of uh, the games, especially if they're not uh, strictly online. But it, that's okay. I'll still get the new version. And then he was asking about like uh, digital, like uh, kind of like console exclusive items, like certain items for PlayStation, and certain items for Xbox. He was saying that uh, the devs were kind of receptive to that, and you know they considered, it, but it's not on their roadmap for development of the game, which that's perfectly fine. So that's that's understandable. And then I. Uh, but the but you did ask like you know like what about like a a toilet pistol item like a, for console like uh, where you find a a pistol and a toilet and it's called the toilet pistol like you only find it in toilets and you said that the those uh, actually wrote that down and so that very well could be coming to the console version uh so be a nice little uh, touch for for it and then uh and then. He said for you PC people, there's going to be better weather control. It's only for PC, which is unfortunate. But that's good to hear. You'll have more uh, control over the weather and everything like that. And then uh, people ask about bandits. Who, and uh, and the devs. I, Spartan said that the devs will, are aiming for Alpha 23 on that. I know it's been prolonged and on PC for many years, uh, many updates, which is a little unfortunate, but it's it's okay. Not a big deal. So, and then uh, people were asking about the helipad at the Traders. If you watch PC and, and you know about this, it's like the, they were asking if it was going to be like some sort of fast travel or anything, and the devs have said that they do not intend on putting in any fast travel. So, that's a little bit uh, but to me, I'm I don't mind that at all. I like traveling around the world. It's a uh, good to it's good to have that stuff. So, and then uh, with then he was talking about like adapter triggers. If you have a PS5 controller, you would know that uh, you have your adaptive triggers for like shooting guns and all that, and like control rumble and control rumbling, which he said like he. He actually confirmed that the it works nice with the AK. Like you can fire it slower if you and go light on the trigger a little bit. And then if you pull it heavy, uh, pull it more heavy, you you get a faster fire rate on the AK, which is interesting. Instead, of like you know, walking in buildings, there was a bit of rumbling. So that's really cool here. And then uh, he was asking about uh, asking devs about like you know, you know, would you consider putting in like in visual or hearing impairment features like you know, for you know, like cues like you those of you who may be uh, visually impaired like you may not be able to see the best or you might be blind and and uh or if your hearing is not the greatest uh, you will get better like you had the devs who actually started writing notes on that and so they really want to put in that stuff for you uh, 
which is uh, nice. So then he asked, uh, like his people were asking, like, what about the world seeds? Uh, are they gonna? Is there gonna be two identical seeds? Uh, so and they said that they will be completely random, which no no two seeds will be completely alike. Uh, so you might see some similarities, like in towns and all that, which is really cool. I think that it'll be random, so it's one of those that's really cool to see. And the devs have said that on release of this version, that there the uh, it will have full Twitch integration, which is very cool. Which means like you can spawn in like little spy chests, uh, zombies, and screamers, and all this. You know, if you want to punish them, like you know, if you stream on Twitch, that's really cool for you. You can make money off that. You know, of course, the fun pins will make a little bit of money, but that is awesome to hear. And then, uh, and you know, just this confirmation like all the PC animals and all the animals, weapons, and POIs and the vehicles will be on PC, will be on a console. So that's really cool. And Spartan was saying that, uh, the uh, console performance will be running at around 60 frames per second, so that's really good to hear. Like, uh, should be seeing a lot of uh, good performance out of that, so that's excellent. And, and of course, you will have the trade requests on this version. I know, like, uh, that's something probably a lot of people that play the old console version have been wanting for a long time, and so that's good to hear. Okay, so. Now I'm moving on to uh, screenshots here, showing you guys some uh, some of the fun stuff. Uh, these will be popping up on screen for you, so take a look at the animals, like, uh, showing off, like, you know, the, uh, the coyote and then, like, the pig, and you can even see the bear in the background of this one screenshot here. Really nice updated models, and nice to see that the pig is coming back on PC version. We still have the pig on console, but that's really cool. And then, uh... The screenshot here that's uh, come up on screen, you see the uh, a bear shot of the bear and and the mountain lion and the uh, and the buck. You'll those are really nice and updated and for you. So that's really awesome to hear. Really like the look of them. And then uh, you got then you got Grace, which is which should be popping up on your screen right about now, which is really cool. They, if you haven't seen her before, like uh, she. She looked a bit more basic, but now she looks a lot better, like a bit more uh, gnarly and more mutated. She's a big mutated pig in the game, which is really cool to see. And then, and then you should have uh, a lot more in terms of uh, zombie dismemberment, not just the head exploding. Like you'll see uh, the four pictures of the lumberjack zombie, who's been updated, which is really cool to see. You know, with his head and <laughs> being bashed in, and you. Know, Severing of arms, legs, you know, and all that really cool stuff. It's awesome to see, you know, that they're updating that. And then you got updated, uh, like palettes and everything. Nice little bit of decoration. I'll be popping up these pictures of uh, the world gen on screen for you guys. Like, it's really cool, uh, showing off a couple of the POIs and then, you know, more of the world. Like, especially in one picture, you'll definitely see, uh, that, like. The world gen is going to be able to be a lot more natural. It'll actually look like a city, not just these big grids that you're used to on console. It's really cool. And devs have uh, shown uh, you know pictures of new character models, which is really cool. Lots of trailer armor sets. Uh, well, I like, uh, really liking the look. They will have uh, special unique bonuses to each of them, and then like a set completion bonus, which is excellent. And just so you know, all these. Uh, the screenshots are from the Fun Pimps Twitter. They're not mine. They, I'm just showing you these. Uh, I know some of you probably might have seen them before over and over again, but you don't want to show people that haven't seen it. Got new pictures of the bicycle that should be coming up on the screen now. They're, you, know, you see like uh, all the junk on it and everything. It's cool to see. You know, It looks very post-apocalyptic. And then you got the 4x4 updated. It's like really cool. It's like a big old monster truck, and it should drive really well. I hope. And then uh, it's just really beautiful to see like how they're updating all this. And then you got the motorcycle coming up now, which I really like the look of the unarmored version. I love the the chopper. It's such a 
cool looking or cycle. I love how it's kind of like a, like an old like an old chopper style. That's such a beautiful thing. I can't wait to drive that. I'll probably drive it without the armor if I'm just doing it in like a creative world. But it's awesome to see. Last but certainly not least, you'll be seeing on your screen now the zombie outfit variations for zombies that are coming. Alpha 22, they'll have like, so that'll shake up the variety and hopefully won't see the same zombie in every building. It's like you'll, and you'll even see like uh, the big guy is bowling alley. <laughs> The outfit, he looks really cool, and, like, you see hazmat zombies, like, just excellent to see. And, like, it's just awesome to see all of this in, in motion, and I cannot wait for this. So, I know I glossed over the pictures and everything, but if you want to look at them in more detail, you know, I encourage you to pause the video. But, that's going to be all about it for it. In today's episode, well, today's video, and I hope you all... In, in, I got informed on a lot of the the upcoming console version. It will be separate from the old version. So if you own the game, you will not. Uh, so you will not be forced to update it. They don't have access to it anymore. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and thank you all so much for watching. I hope you check out some of my other content. Have a great day, everybody.